Right, first question, who would be your three perfect dinner guests, dead or alive? Um, Martin Luther King, very inspirational. <laughs> uh, Chris Tucker, because I like his films, and probably hmm. probably Messi. Hmm. Thank you. Um, Jay Z, because uh, what a great artist he is. His missus Beyonce, great eye candy, and uh, um, I actually forgot what I was going to say, but I remember in a sec, Kevin Hart, because he's actually hilarious. Okay. What do you listen to to get pumped up before a game? Um, I, li I listen to some UK rap, people like Young Bane. Cordial funds, um, chip milk, people like that to get me to come to the game. Um, I listen to more chilled out music because otherwise uh, my head might explode. <laughs> 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 I'll go into the game uh, to be excited. So you come to Yeah. <laughs> what is the worst part of pre season? <laughs> I won't say the worst, but the toughest part of peace season is probably the running that you have to do. Um, obviously, all the lads come back fit now, and um, the running that you have to do before, well, when you get back, is really tough. But all the last season seem to have got through it, so yeah, that's not going I agree with Jordi. Um, definitely the running because, um, yeah, so it's not even sometimes <laughs> physically challenging, it's a lot of the time uh, mentally challenging. You've got to push through it and uh, get other people through it because um, it can prove to be quite difficult. Yeah. What is the perfect Sunday night? <laughs> the perfect Sunday night will probably be probably just chilling out, watching films and just getting ready for training on Monday. Very professional. You don't have to lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, uh, probably as well chilling in with my son and my missus. If anyone gets what I'm trying to say, if you've been on uh, Instagram and Twitter, yeah. you don't, and ready you, you don't, know, you don't understand well. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> If you had a time machine, you can travel to any time, backwards or forwards. Where are you going and why? Travel first. I would travel back um, to when I was about five, not even five, that's wrong, but ten. With all the information I have now. And not live differently, but probably... Um, Invent all, invent all the things that all the guys have invented now, like Amazon <laughs> 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 and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, make a fortune. Yeah, definitely. Um, probably travel back to when I was about eleven, playing football with my friends, um, hanging out, and just. Being a kid, really. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. now you have to pay your own bills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're on a desert island. You can take three things with you. What are you taking? Does the desert island have reception? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine will probably be a blanket because it, it, it can get cold at night. Um. Something to keep me entertained. There's no reception out there. Yeah, not for <laughs> Probably a. I don't know. Probably some water so I don't die. And. It's essential. <laughs> and. I don't know what else I'll take. Probably them two. Should do things. Yeah, no, I can't think of another one. 
I would take some water definitely, some clean water. Um, my dog, so we can uh, go and hunt stuff together and make sure we eat. And uh, hopefully I have a picture of my loved ones in my wallet or something. So remind me of what humanity is like. Nice. Oh. It's intelligent that me. Very intelligent. Who would play you in a movie? Play me? Yeah. In a movie? Hmm. I'd say James Bond. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> what? Which one? Who would play you in the movie? Wait, what do you mean play in the, mo in the movie? Which Who would actor? play you? So if I do the Geordie Harula life story, which actor is going to play Geordie? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Me, I have um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Or Tyrese, because I think I'm a bit funny, you know? And I don't think I'm incredibly good looking. Oh. What was your favourite TV yeah. programme <laughs> as a kid? Mine was probably My Wife and Kids. Don't lie, you, you, only, you, you, only, got, you only start to understand no, the jokes now. No way. I've been watching it for a while and I can watch it over and over again. So that's probably my favourite one. Um, mine would be Rugrats. Because I understood their jokes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite TV programme now? Um, no, it would be... So that includes series and all that? Yeah, there you go. Um, favourite then is it? I've it's not been out for a while. Um, he's got the whole day just by in case you wanted. Hmm? He's got the whole day in case you wanted. <laughs> Go, come back to me, come back to me. If you want me to be brutally honest, pointless. Yeah? Pointless. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty pleasure, I love it. You good at it? <laughs> I try to and I see myself uh, definitely winning the jackpot if I ever went on. Because I got a uh, bit of brain, you know. Were you on the winning team in your quiz? Yeah, we both were. That's not, yeah. a, that's not a question that needs to be asked, because uh, as I said, I've got a bit of brain, so I was the, it's me and Tom Bayliss, brain boxes behind my team, yeah. to take us to be winners. He's telling you about Jordan, isn't he? <laughs> Jordan was just giving wrong answers. Oh, no. <laughs> I think on the football questions. Oh no, you was there, yeah. You yeah, was I was there. The football questions, I got them, but Love Island, don't really watch it. Don't say, don't say Love Island, that's what my knowledge yeah. is about. Um, the general knowledge, not really my thing. So I felt like I, I contributed. What's your favourite show? <laughs> <laughs> um, my wife for kids again. <laughs> so nothing's changed. <laughs> no development. <laughs> What was your first car? <laughs> um, my first car was a Polo. Um, small little Polo. I got it when I first passed when I was 18. Yeah, I loved that car. I had it for about two years and it's probably my favourite car that I've had. Lamborghini Aventador. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I had a Renault again. Uh, which one? The four door, five door one. Cats or dogs? Neither. I'm petrified of cats and I have a dog, so. Best goal you've ever scored? <laughs> Probably last season against Fleetwood when I took it around the halfway line. Um, took, it apart. took it past two players and put it in the top corner. So, yeah, that was my favourite goal. 
your favorite goal or your best goal? Both. Mine was my own goal when I uh, shanked it from the halfway line over the keeper. And uh, yeah. <laughs> or it would be my goal for Swindon. <laughs> my only ever other goal outside the box. Great strike. Bottom bins against Oxford. Derby game. We'll go for that one instead of the own goal, shall we? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But own goal's great technique. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your footballing hero growing up? I really liked Thierry Henry. Just the way he finally <laughs> doing something. <laughs> Just the way he played, you know. Glided like past players. That far post finish. He had that on smash or yeah, probably him. I agree. Thierry Henry or R9. Because um I was a striker before I ever the striker win. Let, let me finish. <laughs> I was a striker. <laughs> Before I ever became a right back, you can ask AD. Prolific, actually, prolific striker for him in the young days. Final question Who from the squad would be the best Prime Minister? I'd say probably the captain, Liam Kells. You know, everyone looks up to him. Um, he's a great example and a great role model, so I give it to him. Definitely the skipper. Because um, he's very diplomatic, is that the word I'm looking for? Very diplomatic and uh, he's not just a captain who um, tells you what to do, he uh, explains and um, listens as well to what you might think is different and all that, so yeah, the captain.